Where do you buy your household groceries and other things from? Are you saying you order them online? So you are one of the reasons why American retailers are facing such a threat. Do you know how? Today, we will examine the fact that one-third of retail malls in the United States are closing. The most powerful country of all the United States. The developed country which is the guide for other developing nations. But what if we say the United States economy is going to face great problems? Yes, you heard it right. Malls are the huge taxpayers of the country. Moreover, they pay a lot of employees. Some experts are saying that after a decade from now, this large country will only have 150 malls. Once the USA had 2,500 in the 1980s, today the number is just 700. We are really lazy creatures. Even sloths are way more socially engaging than us. Take it as a healthy criticism, folks, because it is devastating to know that people have collectively turned towards online markets so that now malls and shops look like haunted houses. No one is there. Making the list of items to buy, dressing up, driving to the nearby store, walking miles inside the mall to get the best one, then, after the long billing queue, back to home. Even saying this makes it evident how tiring this is. Some even don't have their own car, so they have to carry the things and depend on public transport. It has been a boon to order essential things at home and it will come to you at your doorstep. But how does the less demand of retail malls affect the economy so much? We will talk about it after a few seconds. The truth is that we cannot blame our laziness here. When the COVID hit us, we all started to obey government rules and all the needed things were home delivered to us. That has become more of a habit now. Shutting down signs on the glass walls of stores is scary to watch as the future of recession approaches. The majority of the American economy depended on these markets and online markets are majorly a private business which will not support the government like the retail stores. With a report earlier this month circulating that the largest mall owner in the United States, Simon Property Group, was in conversations with Amazon to repurpose some shuttered Sears and JCPenney department stores into fulfillment centers. Many industry analysts have been speculating on the future of malls as logistics hubs. This was the beginning of that major realization. The multinational investment bank, UBS, anticipates the most closures in clothing as well as accessory retailers, consumer electronics businesses, and home furnishing chains, totaling approximately 23,500 by 2026. Don't you want to know who all are closing their stores because they couldn't afford more bankruptcies? The five major closing stores are Macy's, Joanne, Morphe, Bed Bath, and Beyond, and Sears. When was the last time you have visited one of these stores? See, that is why they are compelled to be closed. Two mall owners, CBL and Associates and Pennsylvania Real Estate Investment filed bankruptcy in November 2020. COVID-19 was the major pressure source for them. Within the next five years, one-third of the American malls will be expecting a total shutdown. The retail reporter of CNBC has something to say about this. I think this really accelerated the trends that were already at play prior to the pandemic. It was retailers closing the stores, retail bankruptcies. Retailers were looking for ways to renegotiate leases or pay less in rent. Do you know what we are feeling right now? Poor mall owners, they might have never even dreamt of such a pathetic situation. What will they do now? Let us look back at the history of malls in the United States of America. Growth of suburbs happened after World War II along with that malls started rooting. In the 1950s, a larger section of the community became prosperous. This led to them purchasing new homes and cars. Xiaomi government initiatives like the Veteran Administration Home Loan Program and the Federal Aid Highway Act of 1956 made the country more turning to suburbs leaving cities. Victor Gruen, an Australian-born architect, was given the major share of credit for creating the suburbs where people can shop and mingle with each other. Victor Gruen emigrated to the US after Germany invaded Austria in 1938. Once he became acquainted with the new country, he dedicated himself in designing shops, at least one store at New York's Fifth Avenue. His design of Northland Center outside Michigan was in 1954 and it became the first ever open-air shopping experience. Vienna has streets with cafes, restaurants and commerce. He wanted to make the USA like that. 
Then came Victor's next venture, the South Shopping Center with two floors and 72 stores, two being major department stores. There was a parking facility for 5,000 vehicles and central air conditioning. By 1960, about 4,500 malls were set up in the country. The modern mall was born from there. In 1987, about half of the country's sales happened inside malls. Have you watched the movies? Mall Rats, Back to the Future, these movies made malls in the list of pop culture. Oh, how can we forget Terminator 2? Now let us ask a general question with you guys, which is the largest mall in America. It is the Mall of America. The name itself has pride. So does the mall from 1992. It contained roller coasters and aquariums. At a point, the country has built too many retail stores, that it is beyond the needs. Bed Bath and Beyond owned stores in the United States have been identified as being on the verge of closing due to ongoing financial difficulties. It has also filed to close all 65 of its Canadian locations. The company, which had 953 North American stores only over a year ago, says it hopes to have 360 department stores and 120 Bye Bye Baby locations by the end of the year. Four Banana Republic locations have already closed in 2023, two years after holding company Gap announced plans to close approximately 350 Gap and Banana Republic locations by the end of 2023. According to a corporate list of completed closures, 276 stores have been closed since 2020, with up to 74 remaining to meet the stated target. Following a trend of Walmart closing a couple of locations across various states each year, the big box retailer is closing five stores and its two remaining pickup-only concepts, citing poor performance. These are just a few of them. More are in this list. This retail apocalypse is insane. In America, 5 out of 2 462 people are homeless, an increase of about 2,000 people since the most recent complete census in 2020. Around 30% of people who are homeless are experiencing severe patterns of homelessness. Why are we talking about homelessness here? Are we diverting from the topic? No, in fact, we are so deeply checking today's topic of discussion. Homelessness does not come all of a sudden. Because of the current economic downturn, many Americans are barely scraping by. Many people are underemployed or working for wages that are insufficient to support them. Individuals and families are placed in desperate situations as a result of layoffs and job cuts. Unemployment benefits and savings are depleted, leaving people homeless who never imagined it could happen to them. Look at this recent survey, according to which 68% of American households said their savings could cover a $400 emergency in 2022. A video of one business owner in San Francisco is splashing water at one homeless person using a hose. It was his way of instructing her to move away from her location. This is quite disturbing and the proper solution is still far. The sidewalks of New York and San Francisco have been taken over by these poor people. We have another devastating news for you. The current economic stability is not at all stable. It is just a bubble that will explode now or then. The Federal Reserve is all set to increase interest rates. It is just a matter of time before the entire economic system starts crashing down. Once the basement of the United States economy, the retail stores are disappearing, and this will affect the economy too. You need to understand this. Just look around. The warning signs are all around us. It is us who dream in this present dreamland. The future is lurking at us to eat us alive. Negligence will only harm us. This is the time now or never should be our slogan. Let us make our country more prosperous than before. Let us support the conventional retail shops. Hey, did you find today's video rather serious and scary? But sorry guys if it did because that is the truth. And we are here to show you nothing but the truth. Hope you find this video helpful and enlightening. Then give us a thumbs up. Share this with your friends and families. If you have any queries, then share them in the comment box below. We would like to hear from you. More videos will be uploaded soon. Take care. Go out to your nearby mall and buy your favorite stuff. Bye.